Shabbat Shalom, friends. It's nice to see you virtually. It's nice to be together. It's nice to celebrate Shabbat. You know, when every day seems like every other day, it's only the acts we do that can make a day special. You know, you think about the weekend. The weekend is, if you have a typical job, not a clergy job. In fact, our weekends are usually busier than, than the weekdays. But if you have a typical job, the weekends are, the weekend is your rest. But in this day, in this time, every day seems like the other. So it's only specific actions we take that make a day special. So by watching this video, by singing along, by praying, by connecting with each other and with God, we're making today Shabbat. We are, we are turning it into Shabbat. This is not just another day during this pandemic. This is a day we're making sacred by our being together. And you know, I heard an interesting saying recently, and it said, gratitude before grievance. And what I took that to mean is that we may, at least I certainly am complaining sometimes about everything that's going on, about not being able to get out, about camp being canceled, school being canceled. And, I, and I'm aggrieved about it. But at the same time, I'm grateful, grateful for our ability to take others' lives seriously, grateful for our ability as a community to rally together as best we can to save lives. It's not easy, but I'm grateful that we live in a community and a world and hopefully a country committed to saving lives, committed to putting people's health first, to pikuach nefesh. And even though it may be hard sometimes, I'm grateful that we care enough as a society to support one another and continue to support one another through this difficult time. And that's what we're here for. That's what we as a community do for each other. And so this Shabbat, let's, let's feel that gratitude. Gratitude for a commitment that we have to Pikuach Nefesh, saving a life. And I'm going to read a, a, a prayer that was sent to me by one of our congregants. And it's just a beautiful prayer you might consider listening to or reciting as you light Shabbat candles. Dear God, we ask that you be there for us as you were there for our ancestors, a pillar in our midst. Help us to turn to you, O God, for guidance during these troubled times. Give us strength for the weeks ahead. Help us to reach out in love and compassion to one another to support those who are ill, unable to leave their homes or who struggle financially. Be with our doctors and caregivers, our nurses and scientists as they are working to develop a cure and care for those who are ill. Be with all who are ill and their families, offering them your compassion and we pray your healing. Be with our leaders, guide them to wise decisions in these troubled days. And be with us, O oh God, help us to find the inner strength to be patient when our nerves are tested. Be our still waters when we are surrounded by fear and anxiety. Be our rock to whom we can turn and give our worry and fears. Be our shelter, guide our steps, and keep us safe. Help us to feel your presence in these times of change. As we light the candles of the Shabbat, each in our own homes, may our kindled lamps, each its own point of light, join as the stars in the heavens, a community together, welcoming your Shabbat peace, your Shabbat love, your Shabbat joy into our homes your day of rest that together we welcome more than ever before. Now we sing this song to welcome the spirit of Shabbat and to enjoy all the beauty around us. Maya Fe Hayom. Maya Fe Hayom. Shabbat Shalom, my Avihayo. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. 
Well, Rabbi Ike uh, seemed to, oh, it, it, the miracle of technology, the miracle of technology. Uh, Rabbi Ike is back and uh, is going to introduce our next prayer. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know, this Wi-Fi, the problem is there's everybody is using Wi-Fi right now, so it's making everything slower. Ike, are you there? Oh, oh, make sure you're on mute. Now you're on mute. <laughs> I'm here. Yes. Not sure for how, but we'll, we'll keep this uh, taping going. Uh, our prayer is about oneness. And as Rabbi Evan just said, buddy's on the internet. We're all on here together now. So, so that's another way of thinking about oneness, that uh, all is one. And so let's sing Shema. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad Baruch Shem Kevon Malechuto Leholam A few minutes ago, I talked about gratitude before grievance. And, uh, you know, we just had a little technology problem where too many people on the internet all at once and it slows everything down. And so that's a kind of a grievance. But then I think of the gratitude. You know, how amazing is it that this technology exists, that we can have this Shabbat service where the three of us can come together in different locations and truthfully, I don't want to. I don't want to overpromise and underdeliver, but we are going to be able to go live soon. We're gonna. We're, we're we're developing the technology so that all of us, so that we can have a live service. We can do it now, but we've wanted to to do it this way just to keep things crisp and as efficient as possible. But as this has gone on longer, we're trying to continually continually improve. So I don't want to overpromise and under deliver, but hopefully we'll be doing some more live services coming up. But I'm just so grateful for the fact that we can come together like this. That we, that even in this time of, of, of shelter in place, we can connect with each other. And so let's express our gratitude for that. And let's express our gratitude for the freedoms we have as we sing the words of the Micha Mocha. <laughs> meditation and prayers. As always, you can put this tape on pause and take your time. Uh, there's also a tradition Hasidim called Hid Bodedut, which means speaking aloud your words of prayer, speaking aloud to God. And I know that when we're in the same sanctuary and we're all in a space together, people get a little self-conscious about uh, uh, talking out loud. 
But here you have the opportunity in your own home, speak out your prayers. And after our prayers, we'll sing together. We pray together these words, O oh, say shalom, that God will create peace in the heavens and here upon earth for us all. O oh, say shalom, bim roma vuya, say shalom, aleinu, be'al Hi, hi everybody. Um, this is a time when we need a Misha Berach, a prayer for healing more than any other time. You know, it's, um, there are times when we think about our loved ones who are in need of healing and that's critical. But this is a time when I think all of us are in need of some sort of healing, healing of mind, body, spirit, because we're living through such anxious, difficult times. Some people are on the front lines of that and they need our prayers and our support more than ever. But all of us, all of us are going through this, whether we are healthcare workers or whether we're retirees, we all have a stake in what's happening and we're all affected by what's happening. So let's pray for healing, for those truly in need, truly physically, spiritually, emotionally drained. Let's also pray for each of us to give ourselves that inner strength that we need right now. Mishabara. May the source of strength who bless the ones before us help us find the courage to make our lives a blessing and let us Stay 
as those in need of healing with Rabu the renewal of body, the renewal of spirit, and let us say. press brief today, the president mused about uh, injecting disinfectant as a preventive measure in this time of pandemic. As a public, I should say to you, don't do that. <laughs> that is a bad idea. Uh, and remind me of something, which is that the rabbis ask, what is the most powerful muscle in the body? And teach in the time that it is the tongue, the power of the sublime, the divine gift. In this creation, the traditional uh, translation says that God blew the breath of life, neshimat chayim, into Adam. But in Aramaic, the translation doesn't have the breath of life. It's actually, it says the spirit of speaking, that God blows into Adam the ability to have the gift of speech. That's what human beings, the crown of creation, according to tradition. And words last. Words last a really long time. That's why in the prophet Isaiah, it tells us that human beings, we come and go like grass, but the words, the words of praise endure for Rabbis remind that the tongue is capable of incredible great things, but also capable of inflicting long-lasting da damage. In the Talmud, we, that all the limbs of a person are upright, except for the tongue, which is lying. And I think you actually can understand that in both ways. You know, it's lying flat, but it has the ability to lie as well. And they also point out that all the limbs of a person are external, but the tongue is uh, hidden behind two holes of right? One made of bone, one made of flesh. We have the teeth and the lips, right? As safeguards keep us from uh, uh, doing damage with our tongues. So we know that we can do great damage. But the speech that our ancestors spoke about most frequently was they talked about gossip, thunder, and slurs. In his book from several years ago, the author A.J. Jacobs in uh, The Year of Living Biblically uh, talks about his work as a uh, columnist for, um, for Esquire magazine. He says to cut out the gossip, slander, and slander would free up about 40% of his day. So that's uh, perhaps something for all of us to think about. In our Torah portion for this week, which is a double portion, Tazri and Sora, a difficult section from Leviticus, which is given over to a lot of discussion about skin disease. We at Sora'at, the, uh, the skin disease itself, and the person afflicted with it, the Metzora, the one who has this disease. It's not a physical manifestation as much as it is, to our understanding, a moral or spiritual rot. It can be healed through returning to the ways of in the Talmud, one of the great rabbis, Reish Lakish, calls the uh, Metzora an acronym for Motzi Shemra, the one who speaks uh, uh, badly of a person. And so uh, such a person should not wash his mouth out with soap. God forbid, drink disinfectant, as we heard in yesterday's uh, conference. But we should make atonement and turn toward a spiritual path. In doing that, we can go from being the Motsamra to being the Baal Shem Tov, the master of a good word, and feeling the spirit of speech, the Nishmat Chaim, the breath of life in us. Can you hear us? May this be God's will. Amen. We're going to uh, say a prayer for the earth as well today, because... Uh, uh, this week we marked the anniversary of uh, Earth Day. So, uh, so 
remember them 50 years ago. Some of us were not born yet when that happened. But uh, in saying a prayer for the earth regularly, and particularly this week, we want to, the universe, help us understand that to master the world means to take responsibility, not only for ourselves and our posterity, but to protect all of the creatures on earth. Help us use the power you gave us to build a better living world and not casually destroy the beautiful one we have borrowed from our children. We are the stewards, your partners in creation. We call on you for help and guidance. Our God, God of our ancestors and God of our children, in this time of climate crisis, help us. Show us how to become true stewards of life. Help us preserve life, protect it, and defend it. We owe it to the children, those born and those yet. If not for us, then for them, dear God. Guide us on our momentous journey. And as we conclude that, uh, section of uh, prayer for the earth, perhaps it's appropriate time to include the Omer, which is really about being in touch with the earth, counting 49 days from Passover to Shavuot, the days of the harvest in the land of Israel. And so um, it helps us to stay in with the seasons, growing seasons of the earth. So today is the 16th day of the Omer. Baruch ata Adonai Eloheinu melech ha'aram asher kidshanu v'mitzvotav v'tzivanu al sfirat ha'omer. Today is the 16th day, which is two weeks and two days of the Omer. Together now, let's say the words of the Kaddish Yatom, the Mourner's Kaddish. I know that there are many people who miss the opportunity to come into the synagogue, to hear the name of their loved one read aloud. And we miss doing that for you. We miss being there for you. And we miss being able to honor all of those who passed away recently. It's very hard. But their names are inscribed in our hearts, in our minds, in our souls. And let's say their names to ourselves right now or say them aloud. And now, together, let's say the words of the Mourner's Kaddish, the Kaddish Yatom. Yit Kadal, the Yit Kadash, the Rapa, the Alma, the Vra, the Amlif Malfute, the Chayechon, Yomechon, U Chaye, the whole Beit Yisrael, Bagala, Uvizman, Kari, Vimru, Amen, Yehe Shme Rapa. Mivorach leolam ulome omaya Yitbarach yishtabach Yitpaar viyit robam viyit nase viyit adar viyit ale viyit alal shemei dekudusha berichu leela min kol birchata v'shirata tushbechata v'nechemata dami ran be'alma v'imru amen yehe shlama raba min shemaya. Chayim alenu be'alko Yisrael v'imru amen. O say shalom b'mromav, hu ya'ase shalom. Alenu be'alko Yisrael v'imru amen. May God, the source of peace, send peace to all of us who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved and let us all say amen. If this gets to you in time, a uh, couple of so uh, don't forget about adult enrichment on Sunday morning, which is about marijuana as a Jewish value. So I uh, know I'm looking forward to hearing that on Sunday. And uh, then, of course, this is during the week. And uh, hopefully a week from tonight, starting at 6.30 p.m., we're going to go live with our Shabbat service. So to do that one week from tonight. And uh, it's live if you're there. So, so please be a part of our Shabbat service live starting next Friday. Do we have a closing song, Cantor? We sure do. Uh, how about we pray for peace and we ask for shalom and salam to everyone all over the world, including the land of Israel as well. And we sing these words, Od Yavo Shalom Aleinu. Here we go. One, two, three. 
Oriavo shalom maleinu. Oriavo shalom maleinu. Oriavo shalom maleinu. Ve al kula. Oriavo shalom maleinu. Oriavo shalom maleinu. Oriavo shalom maleinu. Ve al kula. Salam maleinu. Ve al kula. Salam, 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 Oniamo shalom aleinu, oniamo shalom aleinu, oniamo shalom aleinu, Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom.